Yo, what's poppin' my people? It's your boy CTG and I'm back with a banger of a UFC video. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the newest added fight to UFC 300 that I'm gonna be showing you guys here in a second. But before, look at this card. Before we even look at the fight that's been added on this card, just look at the fights they've already announced. We got Figgy taking on Cody Garbrandt. We got Charles Oliveira and Armin going at it. We got Bo Nickel and Cody Brundage. We all kind of know that's just a setup for Bo Nickel to be on UFC 300, but it is what it is. We got Calvin Cater taking on Aljamain Sterling in Aljamain's first fight up at featherweight. We got Yuri Prohaska versus Alexander Rakic. I don't know if that's how you say his first name, but either way, it is what it is. And then we got Wei Li Zong taking on Yan. All these fights right here are bangers. They could main event fight night cards already. But the newest added fight onto UFC 300 is none other than the for the BMF title itself in Justin Gaethje taking on Max Blessed Holloway. And of course, because it's a BMF title fight, it's most likely going to be for it's going to be a five rounder. It's going to be a five rounder. This fight is insane. And we've all been waiting. Hey, what does Dana White have cooking up? Because none of those fights, respectively, that are already on UFC 300 are big enough to really headline that card. But this fight right here is main event worthy. I'm not going to lie to you. It is a main event worthy fight right here because these are two of the most loved fighters in the UFC community. I mean, you, anybody that tells you they don't like the way Justin Gaethje fights is a liar. I'm not going to lie to you. They might think he might need to fight a little bit smarter, but hey, they don't they don't not like watching Justin Gaethje fight. And I mean, of course, you got Max Blessed Holloway Probably the most beloved fighter in the UFC right now, honestly. I, I don't really know of anybody else that's more loved than Max Holloway. But this is a crazy fight. Because not only is Justin Gaethje defending the BMF title, he's also welcoming up Max Holloway for his second fight in the lightweight division. Now, for those of you guys that don't know what that means, Light Holloway, <laughs> Light Holloway, <laughs> Max Holloway has been talking about moving up to the lightweight division for a couple years now. He knows, hey, you know what, as I get older, I'm going to have to move up to the lightweight division. I can't stay in featherweight forever. So maybe after this fight, if he wins, he beats Justin Gaethje, maybe he moves up to the lightweight division permanently. I mean, it would be a way for him to escape, uh, uh, Volkanovski because Volkanovski just lost to Islam so we know Volkanovski is not going to be getting a lightweight title shot anytime soon so hey maybe this is a way for him to get a lightweight title shot you never know Justin Gaethje right now is the clear number one contender for the UFC lightweight championship so hey maybe if he beats Justin Gaethje he gets fast tracked to the title shot who knows there's so many things that can happen in this fight I'm not going to lie. Obviously, if Justin Gaethje wins, he's going to fight Islam. Islam has already kind of laid out his timeline, his plan for 2024. And it includes his first title defense being against Justin Gaethje in the summertime. So this is this is a really, really crazy but good fight. I don't think anybody's going to complain about this fight being booked. And I don't think anybody would complain about this fight being the main event at UFC 300 either. I mean... Like I said, it's going to be hard to top this. I'm not going to lie. Unless you have somehow Connor ends up coming back or, you know, you got Nick or Nate headlining UFC 300, which it, it could happen. I've been hearing rumors about Masvidal and Nate fighting in a boxing fight. So maybe the UFC kind of can convince them to come and fight at UFC 300. That'd be a, that'd be a pretty interesting fight. Um, I'm not going to lie. That's the only... Those, those are... That's a fight that I feel like would be main event worthy because over this fight because of Nate Diaz and uh, Masvidal's following. But who knows? And Nate was talking about fighting at UFC 300 as well. So who knows? But if this ends up being the main event of UFC 300, <laughs> sign me up. Take my money already. I'm not going to lie. This is one of the very few pay-per-view events that I'm not going to go and watch at a bar or you know watch at a buddy's house. I will buy this pay-per-view event. <laughs> and watch it I'm not gonna lie but let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about this fight what do you guys think about UFC 300 in totality do you guys like the fights that they put on the card what fights do you think should be added to UFC 300 let me know in the comment section 
As always, I'm going to be responding to as much of the comments as I possibly can. But until the next video, guys, take it easy. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I'll see y'all later on, though.